We are running. All over the world, companies are turning to emotional marketing to make consumers more loyal to their brands. This type of marketing focuses on people's feelings, desires, and goals to make a connection that can increase their brand's profits. Over the past decade, numerous campaigns have used emotional triggers to make their message be heard. With a wagging tail of a cute dog or a colorful logo brand, companies are constantly working to manipulate their consumer's behavior. It is not just about selling a service or a product. It is also about showing people what a significant positive change such a service or product will bring to their lives. But how do they do it? Early on, when advertising was just beginning to spread its tentacles, companies understood that humans are not rational beings, but rather emotional ones. That is why customers are easy to manipulate without them even being aware of it. Emotional marketing has opened many doors to multiple possibilities of manipulating towards increasing sales. Aiming to make you feel good about their products, certain companies have subtly added smiley faces to their logos. Heineken's logo contains three E's, which looks like three smiley faces. A similar example is Amazon that uses that yellow arrow placed like it's connecting the letter A to Z. All this not only suggests a friendlier appearance, but also that their services will give you a happy experience from the first stage of just navigating on their website and until the last one, where you receive your order at the destination of your choice. Another widely used emotional marketing tactic is attaching a human-like mascot to a product's image. Research revealed that humans are more likely to form an emotional connection when logo brands are anthropomorphized with characters. Basically, you are not just buying a box of cereals for your breakfast, you're buying a friend. Companies are very aware of the fact that children are more likely to react to such a manipulation strategy. Therefore, they're using all the popular characters from Disney animations to allure them in convincing their parents to spend some more money on such products. The use of mascots creates a certain identity for a brand, and they build the brand's personality. Moreover, these mascots strategically placed on cereal boxes, for example, are most of the time looking downwards. While your kid walks through the store's aisles, he'll effectively make eye contact with the character that's looking down at him. This is a way of increasing loyalty to the brand, because it feels like that particular box of cereal is looking straight at you, so you're unconsciously being manipulated into buying it. Mouthwatering pictures of delicious foods are a common marketing strategy that companies are using to make you order more. In the past few years, numerous food brands have redesigned their online menus. Instead of paragraphs explaining the ingredients and what the foods taste like, Brands are now aiming directly to your taste buds by using clear pictures and color-coded categories. This strategy has earned several companies significant boosts in sales. As you're placed in front of an easier-to-digest menu and you don't have to read, but just look at how your food apparently looks like, you're more likely to order more. Have you ever wondered why the vast majority of malls use cinnamon aromas around the holiday season? Research shows that a pleasant smell can make you spend more and you're likely to come back and spend even more. Many companies have invested significant amounts of money in creating signature scents for their brands. Three laboratory and two store-based experiments show how an environment scented in vanilla or cinnamon aromas makes people spend more time in such perfumed spaces, and thus spend more money than initially planned. Researchers explain that while walking into a store that welcomes you with a warm ambient scent, your brain creates the perception that this space is more socially dense or more crowded with other customers. This is how retailers are manipulating your spatial perception. You go shopping to make yourself feel better, and the more crowded the store is, the less powerful you feel. You then want to get out of this negative space, and so you're more willing to buy a luxury product just to get your status and power back. Simple scents are thought to attract more customers by making them spend more time in the stores and as a result, purchase one or more products. This is a common strategy used by brands, such as Bloomingdale, that scents its swimwear section with coconut aromas. Placement of products is another way through which companies are using manipulation to keep you as their client. Ever noticed how the first thing you bump into as you're entering into a supermarket is the produce section? Stores place fruits and vegetables up front just to make you feel good about the healthy products you bought and not condemn yourself too much for the chips and cookies you'll be purchasing later on. Colors represent another tool that brands are using to manipulate the way you make decisions and how you perceive their products and services. Color has the feature of transmitting information at a more subliminal level, and if used correctly, it can greatly impact sales. Color creates emotion much faster than words do. This is why many brands use certain colors in their logos. This is a way of creating a synonymous identity with the brand of a specific color. Science tells us that different colors can differently impact a person's brain. While red has the potential to excite you, blue was proved to soothe you. Having this in mind and the fact that people tend to form an opinion about a product in the first 90 seconds of seeing it, retailers are carefully choosing their logo colors. 
Brand logos that are mostly red are aiming to encourage their customers to take risks by demanding their attention and increasing their heart rate. The brand Target opted for red in their logo due to the color's sense of urgency, which may push people into making more purchases. Whether it's from an impulse or due to the urgent call to action, like the final hours of a flash sale, the color red makes a firm statement in marketing. The color yellow is another one that certain retailers are using to attract more customers to their products or services. It attracts attention because you can never ignore it when you see it. Yellow is linked to joy, happiness, and energy. Research shows that this color encourages mental activity, it generates muscle energy, and it generally cheers you up. McDonald's logo is filled with bright yellow to give you a kid-friendly and fun vibe. Everybody recognizes the brand's yellow arches all over the world. Moreover, nowadays the brand not only symbolizes hamburgers and french fries, but also a part of the American culture. Since everybody wants to get a taste of the American dream, customers are more likely to grab a menu on a Sunday walk instead of going home and cooking their own meal. The color blue is another impactful tool that some companies are using. This color has been shown to bring a sense of calmness and even lower blood pressure. It also provides the viewer of a sense of reassurance, promoting trust, security, order, and tranquility. Since research has many times shown that a blue environment tends to make people become more productive, many companies have capitalized on this idea. Numerous brands priding themselves on their professionalism, trustworthiness, and dependability use blue to color their logos. Intel and Dell are technology brands that promote security and reliability through their blue logos. It's a way of reassuring their customers that buying their computers means investing in a device that will not crash too soon. Car brands, such as Ford, are also opting for this color as a way of relaying their solidity and reputability. Visa is another company that uses blue to promote their brand. Their iconic text-based logo expresses security and trust, as this is what people associate the color blue with. Sound is another tool that emotional marketing has granted retailers with. Since people all over the world are using music to reinforce their identities, the same is done by brands. The goal is to determine customers not only to create an emotional bond with the brand, but also to make transactional investments back in the company's products and services. Many companies have understood that a slow music leads to slow customers. This is how they spend more time inside their stores, and as a result, they spend more time interacting with their products. Moreover, it seems that when people do their shopping on a sad, slow musical background, they're more likely to spend more money. The music genre plays an important role as well. Classical music playing in a store might attract customers into thinking that they're in for a sophisticated experience in a shop that must be selling high-quality products. Since quality creates a better image for the outer world, many people will spend money on expensive products to show their status and power. For many years now, companies have invested significant amounts of money in understanding how their customers' behaviors can be manipulated into making them spend more time and more money in their stores. Anytime you enter into a shop, there are several details that are strategically thought of just to create the perfect experience for you as a customer. A well-thought blend of scent, sound, and image is being served to Limited.